Hi guys, welcome back to Checking with Tom. I thought today I'm going to show you my um, my, my my wild camping sleep system. So what, we, what I'm using is the Snug Pack Base Camps Ox. That's the sleeping bag. We've got the Trekology UL80 mat and the Trekology Ultralight pillow. Make sure you stick around for this video because everyone's been using this pillow wrong. Let me show you exactly how you're meant to use it and you'll be amazed. It's absolutely brilliant. Right, let's get all this kit set up. Right, so first of all, I'm going to show you my sleeping pad. This is the Trekology UL80 Ultralight Sleeping Mat. I uh, used this on my first wild camp the other night and yeah, it was good, very comfortable. But the only issue I had was when it got down to about 5 degrees, I could feel the cold under the bottom. So, I've ordered a, um, an insulator mat to go underneath it. But once I get back more into this, I'm going to upgrade it to um, maybe a thermo rest or something like that. So, I'll pop this up and let you have a look and show you what it's like. It comes nice and compact. Let's see what size of my hand. Anyways, about 750 grams, I think this one weighs. But, good one. So, this one's made of the 400D material. With this mat, it's only got an R rating of 1.6, so I wouldn't like to use it. It's more a summer mat, to be honest. So, comes in a nice little bag. Keeps everything, or keeps everything organised. So, always good to get a little bag with it. Also comes with a little band, so when you roll it up and trying to put it in the bag, it doesn't go pew. So, Right, let's set this up. So the length wise is about 191 centimetres and the width is about 57. But the good thing about this is about 10 centimetres thick. So even if you're on even ground or anything like that, you don't feel anything. Nice pleasant night's sleep. Right, let me give it a quick blow up. So that's the mat set up. Got like a slight concave to it so you don't roll off your bed at night. But yeah. So I'm 16 stone. And it takes my takes my weight in no problem. <sighs> Good night all. See you in the morning. So yeah, plenty of room on here. Nice and comfortable. So I'm six foot two and I'm on here perfect. And it's not very wide, so your arms, the arms come off the side, but I suppose when you're in your, your mummy bag, the bag's holding your arms in. So I got this off Amazon, it was about £39.99. That's the only place that you seem to buy it on Amazon, so... Yeah, that's a Czechology sleep pad. Highly recommend. Very good. So next, we're going to have a look at the pillow. But I've got a slight surprise for this. Because everyone's been using this completely wrong. I'll show you how to use it properly. Checkology Ultralight Pillow. This is what I've been using. So I used this the other, the other night and it was to be very comfortable. But what I've noticed is everyone's using it wrong. So I actually sh I'll show you properly how to use this. So it's the comfort latch and dot. And people are using the latch completely wrong. So make sure you watch this video and watch how this, how you're meant to actually use this. So I, I got it in orange. It does come in loads of different colours. Nice little bag, what, small enough, fits in my hand, no problem. So uh, I did order black, but it came orange, but I suppose it's any colour. So the way it weighs 110 grams, so it literally takes up no weight whatsoever. You've probably got more weight than a can of beer that you're taking with you, so definitely recommend getting one of these. So after you blow it, it says we can blow it up in three to five breaths, but. I thought you reckon we can do it in. Are you ready? Let's have a go. Oh well, I managed to do that in two. Then again, I do breathe out about 200 psi pressure, so blowing that up would be no problem for me. Right. 
everyone thinks you use this everyone thinks you use this pillar like this so everyone thinks you use the pillar like that that is completely wrong let me show you how to use it properly right so this is how you use the trekology pillow look people normally when it slides off people lose it look at that perfect no issue whatsoever works an absolute treat so that's how you use the pillow i might look silly but it works so there we go right this was also off amazon i think they're about 15.99 so it comes in loads of different colors got a little dot thing to stop it sliding but like i've just shown you that the way i use it is perfect deflate it all you do click a button and it deflates it's gone squeeze it out back in the thing back in the bag and it's sorted so yeah definitely recommend that very comfortable give it a try it will change your mind right right next we're gonna have a look at my sleeping bag so this is the snug pack base camp tsb so got this off amazon this was about 34.99 uh, checked recently, it's gone up to about 50, but I assume that's because the weather's getting better and everyone's going to be getting out. So, luckily I got that when it was still in the winter. Got a bit of a bargain on it. So it is a bit weighty. This one weighs um, about 1.6 kilo. Uh, com it says it compacts down to, uh, it's 24 in length and 18 wide. And the, the, say the length of this, the length of this mat is um, it's a t it's 220 long, 80 wide in the middle, down to 42 at the foot. So... It's a good little, it's, to be honest, it's a good first um, sleeping bag. Kept me warm. Like I say, it's got a comfort rating of minus two, uh, lows of minus seven. So with the weather getting better, that's going to do me absolutely perfect until winter. So we'll give this a good run, see how it gets on. But it, it's, it is a quite a, a big pack. It's, it says it, it, you can get down to, what, 24 centimetres. I reckon we can get this right down. Let's, shall we see how, how much we can compact this all? Let's give it a go. Ugh. So in the compression side, so you just pull these down Ugh. and it compacts it. All the way down. Just keep going around. It gets down to nothing. Look at that. Half in size. Look at that, it's half in size. But I reckon we can get it a bit smaller. Let's see how far we can go. Let's do it. Let's get it out and have a look at it. As you see, with a little bit of a force you can get this nice and small but i will be upgrading um, in the future so they're a lot more compact Ugh. all right I'll spread it out along here so it is a mummy bag but it did me absolutely perfect the first night it's got a nice hood on it I mean, Velcro, it's got a left-handed zip, which I found a bit of pain to be honest. I know you meant to zip across, oh, no, sorry, I meant to zip like that, makes it a bit easier than that. But no, it, it does get a bit trapped sometimes, but £34, it's, it's a good bag and I won't complain. I'll crawl in it and let you have a look. Take my shoes off. Alright. As you see, the, the zip's not very, it's a bit of a pain sometimes. Even now I'm, just, I'm struggling. It just seems to get caught on it, it grips it. But, oh well. What can you do? So. Oh, isn't this cosy? Isn't this comfy? I feel like a schnick. I 
I'm a snake. Yeah. A bit warm in here though. It's definitely not minus two in here. Woo! So, yeah, recommend this. I've got plenty of room, I've got a zip tool. But, absolutely perfect. I love it. Show you another thing as well, which I think it's on most sleeping bags, but I'll let you know. So if it gets wet or anything as well, you've got a couple of a couple of hanging hooks on there, so you can hang it from your washing line or anything like that. They dry out, it's absolutely perfect. But yeah, the only downside to that mark really is the zip. I find it an absolute nightmare to do up sometimes. But whether I'm quite big, so I'm giving it a bit of stretch on it, so it makes the zip a bit harder. I'm not sure, but that's a snug pack base camp ox. It says ox on there. It says TSP on there. So what is it? The base camp ox or the base, base camp TSP? I don't know. That would clue. So, right there. Right, see, that's, that's my sleeping setup. So I've got the Trekology UL80 mat, Trekology pillow, and the snug pack base camp ox, TSP, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I recommend all of these products. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I am not getting paid or sponsored to to review any of these. It's just my personal honest opinion. But yeah, so far so good. The only issue is zip on the bag. So, I hope you're enjoying these kinds of videos anyway. Oh, so right guys, that was my wild camping sleep system. So, yeah, nice and cheap. I got all this for under, all at about £90, roughly about that. So. For, for, for a half decent sleep system, I don't think that's a bad price at all. Right, I just want to thank everyone ever so much for watching the video. If you just um, click the subscribe button, click the link and share the video, that'd be much appreciated. So we're going wild camping on Friday, we're down to um, do some um, riverbank wild camping. So make sure you're tuning in on Saturday when I've uploaded the video and check it out. So for now, that's checking with Tom. Thank you very much and take care. Goodbye.